comes forward and goes in. Three of them. And the red flag is raised. And the gates are open. First into stride is Fantastic Francis, followed by Zagan, and badly outpaces Hanoi. What these three have in common, they have all reached the track so far with six track appearance, and they seek a victory in the top two. Seeks win number four for Zagan, three for Fantastic Francis, who's your leader, and a mile behind is Hanoi, who's seeking that maiden win. It wouldn't come today. As they race back towards the three for long pole on the inside, Fantastic Francis, two wins under her belt and a second. In six career start being chased on the outside by Zagan, who seeks a beaver trick, having wrapped up three consecutive victories with a second and one third from six career outings. As this pair race back towards the two for long pole, I'm trying to find a Hanoi, and I am not seeing Hanoi, so let's forget about her at the moment. As they race back towards the corner, and the leader is now in front. It is Zagan who turns from under 130 pounds with Eric Daniel, clear by two and a half from Fantastic Francis, coming with a wonderful run by the mile back and closing is Hanoi, sweating and all. Deep stretch, it is Zagan. This is win number four in succession by two and a half from Fantastic Francis, and uh, Hanoi now hits the line. And these three will stop the clock in 107 and 1. In a moment, I'll have a recap for you. Joins the lineup. They're all in. Locked away. Racing. Prescador, a little slow to go. So too is Twinkle, the, a very hesitant beginning as they come off the shooter north to the main course. Kitty Cat in the... Blue Cat is prominent on the inside of Kitty Cat. Also very prominent is Mr. U.S. These two dispute the lead with a circuit to go towards the outside in the gray with pink sleeves. That one is Provence, who sits third just a little wide on the inside. Is Sing Sing, saving ground along the right. Then there's a three-length break before we find Prescador. And Twinkle is the ma marker. The opening quarter was 25 and 4. They go past the five for long marker. Uh, it is now Kitty Cat who goes through and picks it up. From on the outside, there goes Provence swooping through. And he, she goes on uh, by a length and a half. So Provence, the leader from Kitty Cat. Down the inside, Mr. U.S. and Sing Sing. On his outside, races the team. There's a four-length break before we get to Prescador. And another three back to Twinkled, who has dropped back to assist the ambulance as they go past the three for long marker. The opening half was 49 and 3. They head over the hill and they've just come down the hill towards the cannons. And it is Provence, the narrow leader, but not for long as here goes Sing Sing, swimming by Kitty Cat with a renewed effort. Also goes by as well. And there are no more turns. And it's Kitty Cat on the inside who cuts the corner in front. On the outside, that is Sing Sing, Sing Sing, and Kitty Cat. These two will do it out. Sing Sing under right hand drive starts to go on a little bit, drifting under pressure, wins it all by a cheeky length and a half from Kitty Cat. Then came Mr. U.S. Provence, and a long way back, the final pair of Prescador and Twinkles, who had their own little race with the ambulance. The winner stopped the clock in 138 flat. Racing Prescador, a little slow to go. So too is Twinkles, a, a very hesitant beginning as they come off the shooter north to the. Racing Prescador, a little slow to go. So too is Twinkles, a, a very hesitant beginning as they come off the shooter north to the main course. Racing Prescador, a little slow to go. So too is Twinkles, a, a very hesitant beginning as they come off the shooter north to the main course. Kitty Cat in the. Blue Cat is prominent on the inside of Kitty Cat. Also very prominent is Mr. U.S. These two dispute the lead with a circuit to go towards the outside in the gray with pink sleeves. That one is Provence, who sits third just a little wide. On the inside is Sing Sing, saving ground along the right. Then there's a three-length break before we find Prescador. And Twinkle is the marker. 
The opening quarter was 25 and 4. They go past the 5 for long marker. Uh, it is now Kitty Cat who goes through and picks it up. From on the outside, there goes Provost swooping through. And he, she goes on uh, by a length and a half. So Provost the leader from Kitty Cat. Down the inside, Mr. U.S. and Sing Sing on his outside race of the team. There's a four-length break before we get to Prescott or and another three back to Twinkles, who has dropped back to assist the ambulance as they go past the three for long marker. The opening half was 49 and three. They head over the hill, and they've just come down the hill towards the cannons. And it is Provence, the narrow leader, but not for long as here goes Sing Sing, swimming by Kitty Cat with a renewed effort. Also goes by as well. And there are no more turns. And it's Kitty Cat on the inside who cuts the corner in front. On the outside, that is Sing Sing, Sing Sing, and Kitty Cat. These two will do it out. Sing Sing under right hand drive starts to go on a little bit, drifting under pressure. Wins it all by a cheeky length and a half from Kitty Cat. Then came Mr. U.S. Provence. And a long way back, the final pair of Prescador. And Twinkles, who had their own little race with the ablets, the winner stopped the clock in 138 flat. And in for the call of race number three, it is none other than Neil Gill. Yes, thank you very much, Dean. The light flicking away, and the star sends them racing. Aquila had a horrible beginning, but as they come out of the shoot, Onto the main course, and it is secret mission in front from Pray For Me, then comes Aerodynamic in the three path. Along the rails comes Waterbird, then comes Hosanna, St. Emilian, and Aquila is about five lengths behind as they thunder down the stretch for the first time. And it is secret mission with Enrico Prescott in front by a half of a length from Pray For Me. In, in third position is Aerodynamic. Moving smoothly along the rails comes Waterbird. There's a gap of two lengths now. Back to Hosanna. Then comes St. Emilian and Aquila with Anderson Trotman trying desperately to get his mount into the race. They've done the first quarter in 25 and 3 as they head towards the 4 for long marker. And it continues to be secret mission in front. From Pray For Me, in third position is Waterbird. Aerodynamic moves ominously well in third position. Then comes Hosanna. St. Emilian and Aquila is really 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 having a, a time this afternoon they've done the half in 50 flat as they go by the drill hall turn and secret mission continues to be your leader pray for me swoops by on the outside waterbird has called it an afternoon aerodynamic is in trouble here comes hosanna and you can almost discard saint emilian and aquila as they come within the quarter pole and it is still secret mission on the outside is pray for me hosanna is circling horses on the outside here they come spinning out of the turn and it is secret mission in front pray for me on the outside here comes hosanna and down the stretch they come and it is secret mission Hosanna is flying on the outside but it's all over by the shout in secret mission gets home from Hosanna then came pray for me in fourth position was Waterbird Aerodynamic then comes St. Emilian and Aquila 137 and 3 in a moment we'll have the unofficial place in sports Raises the red flag, and he sends them racing for the fourth race on today's program, and they got out to a pretty level beginning. On in the middle of the course is King of the Valley, who's going to be your early leader. So it's King of the Valley in front from Little But Lucky. Then comes along the rails. It is Bright and Bell. Between horses is Mary Stewart. Then comes Now You Know. On the outside is Corvette. Then comes Trinidad Dreamer, and Nutcracker is the back marker. As they come into the bend, and it is King of the Valley with five and a half alongs to go. In front from Little But Lucky. Moving into third position is Now You Know. Then comes Mary Stewart. Back into fifth position comes Brighton Bell. Then comes Corvette, Trinidad Dreamer. And already getting the hurry up is Nutcracker. They've done the first quarter in 26 flat. And it is King of the Valley in front with Enrico Prescott. In second position is Little But Lucky. Mary Stewart circles horses uh, in third position. In fourth comes Now You Know. Then on the outside is Corvette. Then comes Brighton Bell. Trinidad Dreamer and Nutcracker have a lot of work to do. 51 and 1. 
They've done the half. As they go by the drill hall turn, and King of the Valley continues to lead. In second position, here comes Mary Stewart. Little but lucky is in third. Corvette is moving ominously well on the outside. And then the next one through is Brighton Bell as they come within the quarter pole. And it is still King of the Valley on the outside. Here comes Mary Stewart. Here they come spinning out of the turn, and it's King of the Valley. Mary Stewart is on the outside, getting a lovely letter on the inside. It's Little But Lucky, and down the stretch they come, and it's King of the Valley. Here comes Brighton Bell, King of the Valley, and Brighton Bell, Brighton Bell, and King of the Valley. Brighton Bell gets home from King of the Valley. Then came into her position was Mary Stewart. Then now you know Little But Lucky, not Cracker, Corvette, and looking very bad down the stretch is Trinidad Dreamer. 139 and 1. In a moment, we'll have an official placings for you. And that one is the Philly from Mayor Andale Julia. She completes the lane. They're off in the Rock Hall Freedom Village. Angela Julia was the last in and the first out, and she goes out to dictate with Scarface. Coming three wide is Midnight Chick. Behind these fourth is Black Rock. Koyaba's a bit hard to settle fifth in between horses. To her outside is Secret American, the favorite. Super Heights races out on the outside of what you think. Pretty Princess in the trail is one grand, who has about nine lengths to make up with five and a half alongs left to travel. The opening quarter for Angela Julia. And Rashid Hughes was 26 and one. And they'd have a length and a half lead on Scarface as they jump the sand and head down the back stretch. Black Rock races into the pocket. He's third. Perch has midnight chip. Perch to the outside and she's fourth. What you think now at the inside races into contention fifth. On the outside goes Koyab, who's still finding it tough to settle with half a mile left to go. Then there is Secret American, Super Heights waiting for his cue, Pretty Princess, and One Grand has been the trailer every step of the way and she's still nine lengths off of the lead. Three furlongs from the money. 51 flat was the easy half for Angela Julia, who's yet to been tested. Rashid Hughes still has a ton of horse underneath him with a quarter mile left to go, and he's not summoned her speed. Scarface is ranging into contention second. Midnight Chick there too. Black Rock in between horses is what you think. Super Heights is rolling, and on the outside is Pretty Princess. They turn for home, and it is Scarface tackling. Angela Julia, who could not respond. What you think? Midnight Chick out wide is Super Heights, and it's anybody's race. They come for home, but Scarface, the one to catch. Scarface reaching for the wire. What you think? Super Heights out wide, but it's going to be Scarface who holds on from what you think. Super Heights was third. One grand close from last to get in a photo with Angela Julia for fourth in the final time of 139 flat. of the pace is being loaded and he's at nine to five as he joins his seven rivals and they're in. And uh, where they go and Charles Frederick hopped out smartly so too did the favorite Jericho as they race past the five full on marker Charles Frederick speeds away from them to lead by two and a half. Jericho outfitted his second. Halley Rose third. Pay as you go is under the pump already. She's fourth. Jack Manana Gap races fifth to the inside of Peruvian, stealing his six lengths off of the lead. And Sharjah and Antonio Bishop have 15 lengths to make up with three furlongs left to travel. And it's an elevating opening quarter of 25 and 1 for Charles Frederick, who still has a cushion on Jericho. And he's telling him to come and catch him as they race down the hill. Third is Pay as you go, who's making headway. Halley Rose outside fourth, stealing coming with a run. Peruvian looking for some room. Jack Manana Gap as they come to the corner. And Charles Frederick has made every yard of the running so far. And he's still holding the lead on Jericho, who's in pursuit as they turn for home. A furlong from the money, and Charles Frederick yet to catch. Jericho is doing his best, but his best is second best at the moment, as Charles Frederick, straight and strong. And Charles Frederick and Enrico Press could race up to the wire after going gate to wire. Goes all the way. Jericho was second, Peruvian third, Jackman and he got fourth. Then Pays go, stealing never rallied, and the last one home was Halley Rose. Actually, Charger was the last one home in 106 and 4th. 